Joe's Calculation. Good day everyone! My name is Helen Mayber Subia from Group 3 of 3DVMA. In the last video, me and my groupmates Ivan, Mike, Colleen, and Eric tackled English and metric conversions in relation to pharmacology. In this video, we will talk about drug dose calculations. As a starter, Imagine that it is now a Tuesday evening at the ER clinic and that a 14-year-old cat with CKD who you admitted to the hospital on IV fluids is doing much better and is ready to be discharged. Along with her CKD, a urinary tract infection has been diagnosed and you would like to send her home with amoxicillin oral liquid to treat it. The cat now weighs 8 pounds. These are the questions in your mind. What? is her dose of medication. How many milliliters is that? How much do you send home with the owner if you want them to give it to her for 10 days? A client brings in a nine-year-old Labrador retriever who is severely limping as you prepare to discharge her. After evaluating the dog, you conclude that there is no cruciate ligament injury and that the injury is most likely a sprain. You ask the owner to rest the dog for a week and send caprofen, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug for pain and inflammation. The canine weighs 72 pounds. You are now faced with new questions such as, what is the dose for this dog? How many tablets and of what size do you send home with the owner for a seven day supply? These are just some of the situations veterinarians encounter every day. In this lesson, we will learn and practice the skills to answer these questions. Keep in mind that these are general skills that can be used in a wide variety of settings in the veterinary field. These are very significant or, might I say, crucial, but it only takes a calculator or a piece of paper to complete them. Here are our objectives for today's video. By the end of this lesson, we should be able to calculate the amount of medication in milligrams or micrograms for a patient of a certain weight. Calculate the number of tablets of a specific size required for a patient who requires a specific dose of medication. Calculate the volume of a given concentration of liquid medication required to provide a given dose of medication. Before we begin calculating doses, let us familiarize the abbreviation of units. First, we have mu grams. The symbol for the prefix is the Greek letter mu, which means small. This is why it is called microgram. And one microgram is equivalent to 0 0.0000001 gram or 10 to the negative 6 grams. Next, we have milligram. 1 mg is equal to 0 0.001 gram or 10 to the negative 3 grams. Another abbreviation for units is the most well-known, the letter G, which stands for gram. Lastly is kg, which stands for kilogram. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams or 10 to the power of 3 grams. Most medications and veterinary medicine are dosed on gram per kilogram, milligram per kilogram, or microgram per kilogram scale. That means a gram or milligram or microgram of the drug is given for each kilogram of the animal's body weight. For example, you want to give metoclopramide to a 25 kilogram dog. The metoclopramide dose for a dog is 0.3 milligram per kilogram every 8 hours or TID. To calculate, we multiply 0.3 milligram per kilogram with 25 kilograms which results to 7.5 mg per dose. Medications are available in liquid, tablet, capsule, and other forms. The actual number of ml or tablets given must be calculated the same with what we did. Assuming the patient has a dose range, we should calculate the upper and lower doses and decide on the best method to administer them. In this next example, metoclopramide is available as 5 mg and 10 mg tablets as well as 1 mg per milliliter oral liquid. A 7.5 mg dose is desired. To calculate, we just have to divide the desired dose with the available amount. In 5 mg tablets, 7.5 mg divided by 5 mg is 1.5 tablets per dose. In 10 mg tablets, 
7.5 mg divided by 10 mg gives us 0.75 tablets per dose. And then 1 mg per ml liquid, 7.5 mg divided by 1 mg per milliliter is 7.5 ml per dose. Of the above options, giving 1 and a half tablet is much easier than 3 fourths of a tablet or a large volume of liquid. For this next part, we proceed to complete different problems involving these calculations. First problem, a 4.5 kilogram dog needs how many milligrams of amoxicillin at a dose of 22 milligram per kilogram? Just like what we did a while ago, we multiply the patient's weight to the needed dose, which will give us 22 milligram per kilogram times 4.5 kilogram. This equals to 99.00 milligram. For the next problems, we just have to apply the same procedure. Simply multiply the patient's weight by the dose. Number two, how many milligrams of carprofen do you give a 68 kilogram dog at a dose of one milligram per kilogram? This gives us 68.00 milligram. Next, how many milligram of enrofloxacin do you give a 80 kilogram dog at a dose of five milligram per kilogram? 18 kg multiplied by 5 mg is 90.00 mg. Third, a 3.5 kg cat needs brucidiol at a dose of 15 mg per kg. How many mg does it need? This will result to 52.50 mg. Lastly, a 5.2 kg cat needs 5 microgram per kg of dexmedetomidine for sedation. How many micrograms does the cat need? 5 micrograms per kilogram multiplied by 5.2 kilogram is 26.00 microgram. For the last part, we answer with the best or the most logical way to dispense the medication for each number. First, we have a 22 kilogram dog that needs 10 milligram per kilogram of enrofloxacin once a day. If supplied as 22.7 mg tablets, how many tablets do we need per day? To solve, we begin by dividing the amount that the drug is available as by the patient's required dose. This gives us 22.7 mg divided by 10 mg per kilogram equals to 2.27 kg. After this, we divide the patient's weight by this result. 22 kg divided by 2.27 is equals to 9.69 tablets. For the next numbers, we apply the same procedure again. First is to divide the amount available by the required dose. In this case, we end up with 6.8 kilograms in which we divide the patient's weight by this, giving us 3.24 tablets as a result. Now, if it is applied as 136 milligram tablets, how many tablets are needed per day? Same process applies. 136 mg divided by 10 mg per kilogram is 13.6 kg. We now divide 22 kg, which is the patient's weight, to this result. Finally, 1.62 tablets are needed per day. For number 2, a 5.5 kg cat needs meropitant for nausea at a dose of 1 mg per kilogram orally. If we supplied as 16 mg tablets, how many tablets are needed? Same process applies, giving a 0.34 tablet as a result. Next, if we supplied as 24 mg tablets, how many tablets are needed? 24 mg divided by 1 mg per kilogram is equal to 24 kg. The cat's weight, which is 5.5 kilograms divided by this gives us 0.23 tablets. Lastly, if we supplied 60 milligram tablets, how many tablets are needed? We utilize the same procedure again, giving a 0.09 tablets. Therefore, if supplied as 60 milligram tablets, 0.09 tablets are needed. Finally, on our last number, we will use the same procedure but now we have to go over the process of conversion and apply what we learned a while ago with the units. A 95 pound dog needs their coxib once a day at 1 to 2 mg per kilogram orally. Since the weight is given in pounds, 
This problem requires us to convert pounds to kilogram. First, we multiply 95 pounds by 0 0.45. This gives us 42.75 kilograms. Therefore, the dog's weight in kilograms is 42.75. We will use this value all throughout solving this problem. If supplied as 12 milligram tablets, how many tablets are needed? In this part, we apply the procedure we tackled earlier. Available dose divided by required dose, which is 12 milligram divided by 1 milligram per kilogram. This is equal to 12 kilograms. Now, we utilize the converted weight, 42.75 kilograms divided by 12 kilograms. This results to 3.56. Therefore, the 95 pound dog needs 3.56 tablets once a day at 1 milligram. If it is in 2 milligrams, the 95 pound dog needs 7.13 tablets orally once a day. Now, if supplied as 50 milligram tablets, how many tablets are needed? If we use the same procedure using the weight in kilograms, we get 0.86 tablets for 1 milligram and 1.71 tablets for 2 milligrams. Next question. If we supplied as 75 milligram tablets, how many tablets are needed? In this case, the 95 pound dog needs 0.57 tablets at 1 milligram and 1.14 tablets in 2 milligram duracoxib orally once a day. Finally, if supplied as 100 milligram tablets, how many tablets are needed? At 1 milligram, 0.43 tablet of duracoxib is needed, and at 2 milligram, 0.86 tablet is needed. These are both once a day orally. And that ends our video on drug dose calculations. Once again, this is Helen Megbarsubia with my group members from Group 3 of 3D VMA. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.